was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money, and so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. He liked the beach. I said, I want to make money. I don't want to swim. Guru said, if you want to make money, I'll meet you tomorrow, 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit. He should have worn shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes way steep. So he's like, this guy crazy. Adrian, he's like, I'm going to make money. He got guys swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around in this area. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, that's so me. Shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you lost sleep more than you lost success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You've got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you might have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you gotta want. It. You gotta go days without. Listen to me. You gotta want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. The most important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. Quit. 
We cannot be so weak that we quit at the first sign of adversity. You have to believe. Speak to what you want. Words without pursuit won't work. You have to look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm going to reach my goals even if it kills me. And just in case it does, I know in my heart I didn't die for nothing. Let the things that we cannot control go. You can't help the situation you were born into. We can't dwell on the fact that we weren't born into that wealthy family. You weren't given all of the networks and tools that other people have. You can't change that. But what you can change is the now and the future. So when it's all said and done, it's all she wrote. At the end of your life, you want to be able to look back and say, I gave it my all. I used every bit of talent that was given to me. I have nothing left. And I submit to you today that you haven't given everything into what you say you want to do. See, everybody isn't going where you're going. Everybody doesn't see what you see. That's why God gave you the vision. Yeah, it's convenient to have people in your corner cheering you on. Yeah, it'd be great if everything worked out perfectly, but that's not necessary. The only thing that's necessary for you to have what you want to have is for you to make a serious decision. The problem is most of us are only interested in our dreams. You know, it would be cool if I was successful. Oh, how great would it be if I had what I said that I was going to get? But only a select few can make a serious decision and say, no, it wouldn't be cool. No, I'm not interested in it, but I am committed to it. I will have success. I will accomplish my goals. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to see that happen. The path to success, guys, is the road less traveled. So many of us wonder, what does it take to really be successful? Well, I'm here to tell you, it takes an unwavering, stubborn commitment to your future. Listen, everyone who has traveled the road to success has encountered the same person. And his name is failure. You can't get to your goals without passing by him. So expect him. We've got to stop being so caught off guard when tough times hit. Yes, I know your family's dependent on you. Yes, I know the weight of the world is on your shoulders. I know you sat up at night and cried and asked God why. But I'm telling you right now, don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. You see, there's something that you have that the world needs. God has placed a gift and a passion on the inside of you, and no one else can fulfill that calling except for you. So now you've got to make a decision. Either you can be the ammunition wagon with everything inside of you that you need, but never use it. Or you can be the rifle, which was built not for storing things, but for use. So now...